Today we will know about which type of material used in RCC design, what type of material used in RCC design in this video. Hello friend, I am from the back to a new tutorial video regarding RCC design analysis. In my last video, I talk about uh, what is basically RCC. So that is a basically introductory video. So in case you missed that video, there is I button. So get and check out. Without further delay, let's get started this video. One more notification for you. You can play this video in 1.25 to 1.5x because I am teaching this whole subject very slowly because of better understanding. So yeah. So in this video, we'll discuss two types of material broadly used in RCC. Two types of material broadly used in RCC design. One is your concrete and another is steel. Okay. So first, we talk about this concrete and hopefully this video or next video, I will talk about steel. Okay. So today, our aim is know about the concrete. In RCC design, we know that concrete resist compressive force, steel resist tension force. Okay. So, we have to understand, we have to understand first, what is the property, property of concrete, property of concrete, okay. First, we have to know, concrete is homogeneous or heterogeneous. For better understanding, is concrete made of is concrete made of by one material or it's made by compounding few material? The answer should be made by compounding material, not one material. So as concrete made up the, by compounding material, so that is why concrete is your heterogeneous because in BMC, when you read the BMC, we know concrete is made up cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate and water as per requirement, okay. So for RCC design, we need, we need a concrete which is durable, which is workable, definitely. So, making the concrete durable and workable, what we should do when we make or we are making the concrete, the concrete mix should be mixed should be properly mix should be properly because because for better mixing you will find a homogeneous mixing yeah i never say it is a homogeneous but we are trying to tending to make a homogeneous mixture. So mixture of what? Cement, fine aggregate that is sand, coarse aggregate that is stone chip and water. If you do not mix properly, then what happens? Then what happened? Segregation happened. Lightens may occur. For these, the result will be honeycombing structure. Honeycomb, honeycomb structure. 
which is very less resist against what compressive force so our aim is concrete resist the compressive force but if we not mix properly then segregation will occur lightens occur then honeycomb structure generating so it cannot resist a proper compressive force so this is the first point the mix thoroughly or better or good way that is we can say the mix is towards homogeneous although it is a heterogeneous material number 2 okay mixing done second point is workable so mixing done what will have do number 2 placing after placing what we have to do we do vibration yeah that may be hand vibration that may be machine vibration that is the different story that is different story. but why we do the vibration because because better compaction if better compact then chance of less porosity if chance of less porosity then chance of dense as well as chance of less permeability less permeability means more durable more durable and less permeability means more water resistance so that is why second point or second property we can say we need better compaction to make it less porous or prevent it from being a porous okay then mixing done vibration done then what you know about heat of hydration what is that when water add with cement they are generating they are generating heat so heat are evolving heat are evolving so someone have to counteract with this heat that is why water play a main role that excess water provided to concrete structure after the vibration after the placing this is known as your curing in curing the heat is evolved properly if not cure properly if no, if not if not cure properly then what may occur it may occur crack on casting surface casting surface casting surface that is why that is why curing is necessary and for how long as per code is 456 28 days and that is why as per is 456 you have to measure the cube you have to measure cube after 28 days because after 28 days the cube reach number of corner no <clears throat> that is why you have to you have to measure the cube after 28 days that is the reason because only then and if then and then you find the 100% the cube strength so that is the beautiful of the earth cc design analysis and in this process you have to read any kind of topic then you have find the interest you find the eagerness why you read 
you find the beautiful uh you never be bored okay so now we talk about the next point is the water the water we use time of curing we use time of making that is free from everything free from everything that means ph should be less than 6 color nothing any chlorine sulfur material nothing organic material nothing hardness nothing i mean there should be some limit so that is why we are saying the water is free from every kind of harmful substance but why but why because when you read about the cement in the your uh, bmc they are making or they are creating c3a c3s c2s but how these all moves are generated after reaction with water if water quality is getting decrease or water quality is hampered due to some reason then these material cannot generate properly if these material cannot generate properly then how you find your proper um grade of concrete how you find the proper uh compressive strength that is why the water water should be free from all types of harmful substances okay okay the next point is that size of core segregate should be 20 mm and this is the standard value this is a standard value from where from is 456 but in is 456 they are they mention and the two size if required one is 10 mm one is 40 mm so as per the size strength may changes how you find when you start the mix design when you start the mix design from 10262 is there you may find what is the relationship between the size of the size of con size of core segregate and the grade of concrete okay next the measurement of the material making the concrete that that time you have to consider consider weight not volume why if you consider volume say suppose you consider volume there there may come bulking issue the bulking issue means water increase volume increase again water provided and volume decreasing so there is lots of issue for getting the final product and getting the final compressive strength suppose you are making the m10 and so your target should be compressive strength should be 10 newton per mm square but somehow due to bulking you pro- you are find 9 newton per mm square so in this situation is it acceptable as you are a uh, client side is it acceptable you you are a contractor your client is agree with this so your time waste your labor waste material waste everything is waste due to this one misunderstanding so that is why when you measure the qual uh, the quantity for the making concrete definitely consider the weight last property should be that proportion should not be changed what proportion i am telling you that concrete is coming the mixing of cement 
फाइन एग्रीगेट कोर्स एग्रीगेट सो देर आर सम सम वट प्रपोर्शन मे बी वन इज टू थ्री इज टू सिक्स दैट इज फॉर इंडियन सपोज योर ड्यू टू योर एबसेंस ड्यू टू योर इग्नोरेंस ड्यू टू योर केयरलेसनेस योर मैशन योर लेबर डूइंग दैट वन इज टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इज टू सेवन सो इज इट सम कंप्यूटर स्टेट इज जनरेटेड बट इज इट इक्वल टू एम टेन नेवर पॉसिबल नेवर तो दैट इज वाई स्टिक टू योर प्रोपोर्शन टिल द वर्क इज डन बट वट इज योर एम टेन वट इज मीनिंग ऑफ एम वट इज द कंप्यूटर स्ट्रेन आई विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई होप टिल नाउ देयर इज नो काइंड ऑफ डाउट बट या डाउट मे बी जेनरेटेड डेफिनेटली विदाउट हेजिटेशन let me know in comment section what you faced the problem in this lecture and if you find some value from this session or this video definitely make sure to share this content with your circles and yeah thank you for watching this video till then bye bye